everyone. I'm Tiana Sermon to Pray for Kids First. Today, I'm going to be speaking with Alice Cazares, the voice of Very Berry, and Josh Brenner, the voice of Twig, in the series, The Mighty Ones. Ms. Cazares is known for her roles in Sunshine Brownstone, Boss Baby Back in Business, and Zozo Zombie. Mr. Brenner is known for his roles in 101 Dalmatian Street, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Star Wars Resistance. They are both here to talk with me today about The Mighty Ones Season 2. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Um, so my question is, all the characters in the series have different personalities and mighty goals. So what do you think it is about their friendship that really makes it work? Even though they pick on each other, and even though things don't always go their way, they know at the end of the day that they're good friends and that the next adventure is just over the next dirt clod. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think they really take care of each other. Um, <laughs> you know, it, like, like they they'll throw each other under the bus, but then when it really counts, they uh, you know they literally swoop in and uh, and pull each other out of a pond or save them from a bird or you know whatever whatever crazy thing is happening. You know that they have each other's backs. Yeah, but then they probably so. help get them there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. They're just undoing what they did, but they will do it. <laughs> yes. So the Mighty Ones go on an adventure in the human's messy backyard. So what are some ways that we will see how humans affect how other living things live? Great question. Thank you. Well, like for instance, if they flood the backyard, there might be a watery mess that they have to deal with. That might involve boats and floating <laughs> like that. That's pretty cool. Um, just, uh, oh, like, for instance, if if one of the, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Already in one of the episodes, you know, remember when the la there's a light and the light makes the characters grow stronger and stuff. So whatever, whatever these girls do, it, <laughs> oh, my gosh, Josh, save me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think one of the most fun things about the show is that uh, these sort of uh, inconsequential things that the humans don't think much about, like tossing a marble or spilling some paint or, uh, you know, a few beans rolling away, uh, become major uh, obstacles or new friends or uh, enemies for, uh, for our little characters. And I think it's really fun to think about uh, scope and scale in that way about how uh, the tiny things in our backyard, I definitely, when I go into my backyard, I definitely think much more about what's going on at a very small level than I ever would have before The Mighty Ones. Yeah, yeah. that, <laughs> I got tongue tied, sorry. And it also adds to the humor. Yeah, yeah, it's a definitely, it's a new perspective, which I think always uh, helps with comedy. So I would like to know, what would kids find the most appealing about this series? I. I really love the games that the Mighty Ones play. They're always playing some inexplicable nonsense game with each other where they know the rules, but they don't make any sense. And I feel like that's the kind of games I like to play when I was a kid, where you just kind of like make up the rules as you go and they don't really make any sense, but it's the most fun. So I love Mighty Ones games. Yeah, and the silliness. It doesn't have to make sense, but it's fun. <laughs> like when like when Roxy and Barry are like, hey, up here. Psst. And they just do silly little kid things together. And I really like the slapstick humor of it. And I think it's it's a beautiful world that they inhabit. It's fun to watch too. Feast for your eyes, feast for your ears. Yeah, and I have seen some of the episodes, and I laughed a lot. It was really that. Funny. That is oh, all great. we ever want to hear. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's Thank so you. awesome to hear. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that is all for now. I'm Tiana Sermons, reporting for Kids First. Be sure to check out Season 2 of The Mighty Ones, available on Peacock and Hulu, July 1st, 2021. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our next reviews or interviews. Again, I'm Tian Sermons. 
Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Oh.